All right, so I'll show you guys how I made the heat sink uh, fan system for the greenhouse. And it's very simple. It is uh, two inch to four inch PVC. And I just took two of these and I basically hooked them together. And I could have bought some four inch PVC and hooked it together, but a piece of four inch PVC is like seven bucks. So I figured it's just as easy to uh, set them on top of each other and use a bracket to hold it in place with some bolts and pretty much once you do that you can use uh, tape any kind of tape I'm going to use this which is uh, tape for ductwork inside of the house which will work great because uh, it's made for heat so uh, it'll be able to withstand the heat that it's going to need pushing that air down now inside here that's all it is is just a simple computer fan. That's all it is. Just a simple computer fan. I uh, hooked up this, which is just a car outlet, a car outlet to one side. I'll probably end up cutting this off, but I just needed some wire, so I'm going to use this wire. Um, I like this because it had an on-off switch so that I could turn it on and off if I want. And how I'm going to do it is uh, pretty much uh, we're going to... Um, leave this fan see how it works if it works good but is not quite pushing enough heat into the ground then I'm gonna actually open it back up and we'll mount another fan on this side and basically the fans will push together so you have one fan that's hot pulling the bottom fan is also pulling so you're gonna be pulling air through here um, and that's pretty much it once you seal it back up, you put your bolts back in, and that's it. It's basically kind of how a bilge blower works, but only this is not as powerful, and it's not going to be as loud. So, And it saves a lot of money, because this was a lot less money than a bilge blower. <laughs> Alright, so once you're done with it, uh, to test it, make sure that you got uh, pretty much it sealed. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, sealed enough where you're not going to lose a lot of uh, airflow. Make sure it's sealed up really well. Put your hand on the bottom, blow on the top, and you should feel pressure in there. You should feel it kind of pressurized a little bit. That's when you know you got a pretty good seal on the tape and it's ready to go. So it's ready to be installed. All right, well, that should do us. You got any questions? Leave them below. Peace out.